Good morning, my friends. It's Laura Ward. It is the 10 day movement challenge. And today we are still doing the dimensional cross of axis. That is the challenge to learn this, this movement scale. And I'm going to teach it to you with effort today. So with Laban's effort qualities, effort factors. So we're going to go up first. We're going to rise with lightness. Ah, I don't know how well I can do it. Maybe it's rising with lightness and we're going to come down with strength. We're going to cross over very direct and specific direct space effort. And we're going to open out with indirect space effort, taking the whole thing in. We're going to go backwards quick, quick time. And then we're going to come forward, slowing it down in sustained time. So we rise with light weight, ah, going up with light weight and then coming down with strength down to the ground. We cross over with direct space, very specific and pinpointed. We open it out, checking out all the space around us, seeing everything global. We go backwards, quick time, and we come forwards, sustained time, slowing down. So one more time, up, rising with lightness, coming down with strength, crossing over direct space, very specific, opening out indirect space, very expansive and global, taking it back, quick time and moving forward in sustained time, slowing down. So lightweight effort, strong weight effort, direct space effort, indirect space effort, quick time effort, sustained time effort. So that is efforts with the affinities. It doesn't mean it has to be that way, but it's a way of thinking about it. Like, are people very kind of light and floaty up here? Or they're very strong and direct and here's how it is. Or are they very strong and indirect? I'm really not sure, but it's somewhere it's out there. Like there's, that, that's not such a common one, but we can think about how those, it, you could, can you be strong and high voiced? I don't know how well those go together. So just thinking about the dynamics of movement, the dynamic effort qualities that people have. They're, they're, it's like the flavoring in the pot, the flavoring in the soup.